when I'm looking for a place to hunt in big timber and I'm studying aerials and I'm studying maps, topos, clear cuts catch my eye, beaver dams, rivers catch my eye, the pine plantations catch my eye, which is one thing I really, really focus on. And that's swamps, especially the isolated ones away from the roads. We got to walk through some timber to get to them. Those spots always seem to hold the biggest bucks, and they always seem to hold deer. They offer the protection of water from predators. In this section of the video, let's take a focused look at swamps within the big woods. Well, people will probably kill me for this one a little bit because to me, big woods is all about swamp. So first of all, go back to the swamp video. And if you think about it, the, the video that me and you did in the swamp, right? Back in these woods back here, yeah, right? That is really a huge chunk of timber. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a, a few square miles yeah. of solid timber. But yet, do you see any of the big bucks bedding on the high ground? They've been in the swamps at the best. When everything freezes up, they go to the transition edge of it. Yeah. But you're not seeing them bed out in the open woods, do you? No. No. Swamps are natural places for bucks to bed. So if you find swamps in big woods, that's where they're going to be. And that transition is, is awesome. Those little islands and stuff. And the reason for that is, even twofold in big woods, is because of predators. They not only got to worry about humans and coyotes, they have to also worry about bears. Bears eat fawns. Um, I've got trail cam pictures from uh, one of the people on the beast of bears going in and hunting a bedding area. He's got a camera over a bedding area. Bears in that beds all the time, sniffing around for the deer. They do go after a deer, whether you want to believe that or not, and they eat a lot of fawns. Yeah. And wolves, especially, they devastate a deer population, right? How do those deer get away from those wolves and bears and stuff? What's the one factor that keeps them safe? Water. They go in water. And I think that's naturally why they do it everywhere. It's right. because of predators. It's, it's through time. I mean, maybe we don't have the wolves and bears, you know, near the city or something, but they still understand that that water is safety. Right. So you get them just inside of that water, up on an island, up on a hump, a dry hump in that water. And even in the big woods, the swamps are key. Keying in on those swamps is where you're going to really find the biggest bucks. Yeah. And it probably has something to do with travel time too during daylight um, as far as your setup I mean where you're setting up in proximity again to bedding because you're sitting in the middle of the big woods or 200 yards 300 yards from that swamp transition you're not as likely to see that mature animal in daylight correct yeah. all right it's September 20th it's a Wednesday afternoon it's Three degrees. Uh, I'm sitting on the point of this T that Dan had some success on last year. I've got the reason why this, this spot is good is because we got a watering hole that transitions between the high ground and a set of oaks. I spot the water coming in and it was bone dry. There's a heavy trail that beats all the way around the watering hole straight into these oaks that are set up behind me. And I've got bedding just off to my east. So I set up on the edge of the transition of the high ground of the oaks and the swamp grass. And uh, you, know, you can see right out here. That's right where that bedding is. Um, so, we'll see what I see. But, uh, I'm pretty excited about this with the warm weather. I think they'll be coming in to that watering hole. All right. Um. Unfortunately for Mario,
there was a little thermal current pulling his scent down towards the water of the swamp and a nice buck came in and busted him. Another key feature that me and Mario have been focusing on in the last five years in these swampy areas within larger timber is land bridges that connect two large wooded areas together by having a bridge of land that goes in between two swamps. And what's interesting is we expected there to be activity there, and there was, um, with big bucks, but it wasn't like we kind of thought, or like most people would think that it was a funnel where uh, bucks cruising in rut would run down the middle of this bridge to get to the other side. Really, it was that way kind of with does and small deer using that bridge to go across from side to side without going through the, the real thick swamps. But the big mature bucks tended to stay in the swamps and use the land bridge as the narrowest pinch between the swamps to cross and at the same time check on the does that were going across the land bridge. So the buck activity was actually going crisscross across the land bridge, not in line with it. I'm sitting in a um, land bridge that uh, connects some dry land between some swamps and uh, it seems like these big bucks run these swamps but they don't want to run the dry land and this is the thickest point that connects these two swamps. Last year there was an absolute pig running this and he just started showing up on the cameras right around this time last year. So I'm hoping that he comes back. The trails are certainly being used pretty well. Um, I think a lot of does go through here and that's why that big buck was going through here. Um, if something comes through here, I have this whole thing pretty well covered. Man, look at this uh, deer on. If you don't think this is a funnel during the rut. we got bog on both sides here. This is a bridge used by every buck for miles around, including the bucks in the bog and others. So I get up here and, uh, man, look at that trail going out into the bog. And is that what I think it is? Yeah, it is. It's a shed. Following this trail on the bog. That thing's three feet off the ground. So he must have 
wanted to be rid of it and uh, shook his head and it flopped and landed over here. Let's take a look. That's pretty cool. Two and a half year old eight point from this past fall. He'll be a three year old this next fall. Man, if you don't think there's bucks and bogs, I'm running out of things to tell you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the swamp section of the Big Woods DVD. If you want more info, we have a whole swamp DVD that you can get a hold of on my site. The link is in the comments below the video. See ya. Caught me a cardinal. Bye-bye, <laughs> bird. Ha, ha, ha.